Our new bike's too heavy and does heavy mean slow? To demonstrate, I have my 10 year old plus Super 6 Evo and on the scale of the truth, this bike weighs 6.3 kilos. That's pretty impressive. This is a brand new top of the range carbon aero race bike from Van Riesel and it weighs 7.24, so nearly one kilogram heavier than a bike from 10 years ago. So have bikes actually gone backwards in terms of development or have they improved in other ways which you can't measure on the scales? So where on earth is that extra kilo of weight hiding? Well, there are a few places. Firstly, the gears, the group set. So cassettes are bigger than they used to be, 1130 compared to 1123, so more metal there. And then the shifting has changed as well. They're now electronic with wires replacing cables and batteries on this bike inside the frame or with SRAM inside each derailleur. So batteries and motors are heavier than mechanical shifting group sets. And then the brakes. That old bike had rim brakes and rim brakes are very lightweight indeed. New bikes have disc brakes, hydraulic disc brakes. So more weight, more mass for the braking systems on these bikes compared to 10 years ago. And then tires are bigger as well. That old bike had 23 mil wide tires, which were standard back then. New bikes have 28 and 30 millimeter wide tires. So more rubber means more weight. And then of course, aerodynamics. Aerodynamics over 10 years ago wasn't the buzzword it is today. And this frame, as you can see, has lots of aero features. And that means a heavier frame. This frame weighs 790 grams, which is 100 grams more than the old Super 6 Evo. Yeah, it might be more aero and slipperier through the air, but it is heavier than that old bike. And it's not just a frame that's aero optimized as well. There's a seat post, so heavier than a normal round seat post, and also the handlebar and stem. And those really are the main reasons why a new bike is heavier than a bike from 10 years ago. Gears, brakes, tires, and aerodynamics. So does more weight mean more time against the clock? Well, let's ride both bikes around the Just Ride Bike test track and see what the clock actually says.